What's up YouTube? Welcome to this week's video. For today's video, we have more of a serious topic. Before I start, I just want to say I am by no means a professional. This is just like my personal experience and I want to share that because maybe it can help somebody. So I really hope you hear something new. I feel like when it comes to this topic, we constantly hear the same things over and over again. I know there's plenty that we've been told before. I hope there's something in here that actually helps. So first of all, God is who gives us peace. So without God, we don't really have peace. We can't just like create peace out of thin air. We can't just like be like, yep, I have peace now. All good comes from God. We are not good. The world is evil. Anything good in us comes from God. So peace comes from God. He already gave you peace. He's not like holding it back from you and like not letting you have peace. It's there for us. He is peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and you are allowed to have peace. It's not like you're not allowed to have peace because of bad things you've done or because the world is evil and all this stuff. Because if, if you're waiting for everything to be right, for there to be no problems whatsoever, to then be able to have peace, that moment just isn't gonna happen here on earth. When everything's okay, when I get through this problem and then this next problem, and then when I fix this and that, then maybe I'll be able to have peace. Instead of allowing yourself to have peace right now, the moment you decide to stop stressing and truly give all your worries to God, you let Him take care of it and you let go and you pray for Him to help you feel his peace. That peace that surpasses all understanding. Like no matter how you're feeling, no matter what's going on, you'll feel this sense of peace that in your mind it won't make sense. Like I should be stressed right now, but you won't be. Because the thing is also we need to understand. Peace doesn't mean constant 100% happiness, being completely relaxed and having no cares in the world like Hakuna Matata. That's not where you have to constantly be at to always have peace. We live in a world full of trials and tribulations, but you can't let that stop you from feeling peace. Because if we focus on that, it's so easy to just fall into constantly having fear. Even though the circumstances aren't what you would like them to be, you'll know God is the one taking care of you and you don't have to worry about making sure everything is okay all the time. Your job is to trust God and do whatever he tells you to do and then he takes care of the rest. It's just a peace that you have from knowing that God is there with you, protecting you. He listens to you. You can constantly be in conversation with him, communicating with him through prayer. He wants you to. It's not like this whole thing where like God's like super far away and you have to go through all this like rituals to be able to talk to him. We can just like say a little prayer in our minds. I mean I do that because every time I pray to God it doesn't have to be this whole thing where I kneel and I have to be in a quiet room and I have to say it out loud with my eyes closed. That's great. You can have that quiet time with God because you should try to do that. But that doesn't mean that's the only time you can speak to him. I'm constantly praying to him and stuff. Probably most of the time kind of complaining slash worrying about things which I guess it's kind of like not the best but he accepts me for who I am he can literally like hear my thoughts so what's the point of not being completely myself when I talk to him even if the situation doesn't seem like God is on your side because it's not how you think it should go we can't understand God's plans like our minds just like can't comprehend the whole picture sometimes we don't understand why he allows certain things to happen but later on have you noticed that later on we understand why he allowed it to happen good always comes out of it and like I said it's hard to find a moment in life when something isn't going wrong or something isn't worrying you and if you're like me or you're the kind of person that worries a lot it's hard to not let your mind go to that your mind is just like looking for something to worry about and it'll always find it if you allow it to so i've learned over the years to like discipline my mind with god's help like for example when i really don't know what else to do i start like reciting these verses in my head it helps me like fall asleep at one time when my anxiety got pretty bad around when i was like 14 my mom literally gave me this little book that had a bunch of bible verses that i would just like read before going to sleep because one it distracts your mind and it makes your mind think about something else two what you're thinking of is something positive and it's sending like a good message into your head and you're like saying truth to yourself and you're just like declaring all these good things and they're just really good reminders of why you shouldn't constantly be worrying it's not easy to make your mind think about something else when all it to think about is that problem but the more you do it the more your mind gets trained and disciplined you have to know yourself and know what affects you i know i'm very sensitive and that my mind will overthink things pretty much all the time and it'll create fears and worries out of whatever i see in here so if i hear that something bad happened my mind just jumps to like oh my god what the hell is like right now to me it'll be like oh my god it's so possible it's just gonna happen like, right now i know myself and i know my mind will do that if I let it. So I've decided that I'm just gonna be smart. Smart enough to not expose myself to certain things that I don't have to. For example, scary movies. 
or movies that are really violent or about really hard topics. Sometimes I'll watch if it's something that I know like it would be good for me to watch it, like I should know about this, but there are some movies that are like horror movies, never. It'll just be like a thought that I don't need in my head. I guess I can feel like the bad vibes, I don't really like that word, but I can just feel when like the atmosphere is really heavy and it just starts affecting me and if I don't have to be exposing myself to that, then I'm not gonna because I don't want to cause myself to lose peace even if the movie looks really interesting because sometimes it does next thing I have on here is to stay away from temptations especially if it's like completely up to you whether or not you're exposing yourself to something if it's something you struggled with in the past or something you know always gets you in trouble and it's just gonna add more problems to think about more anxiety, more stress because definitely having a guilty conscience equals no peace that one's really like hard to fight like the guilty conscience Definitely for me at least, I can't feel peace if I feel guilty. Obviously, life isn't perfect, but be smart about it and take care of yourself. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically, because all of that really affects how you feel. I have like a bunch of bullet points here that are like just like short little ones. Make sure you sleep. Sleep isn't necessary. Sometimes we have so much to do that we're like, there's no time for sleep. Or we just sit on our phones all night instead of going to sleep because the internet's really entertaining. Exercise because you need to be active. Have you noticed that when you're not, all you want to do is lay around and sleep all day? And when you finally exercise, you get this burst of energy that you're like, wow. And you get so much done instead of laying around all day and procrastinating, which in turn causes stress. So exercising helps you feel better. It makes you healthy. Being healthy helps, you know, like if you're unhealthy, that's more problems to take care of so along with that eat healthy you need to definitely take time for yourself you can't please everybody you can't help everybody and not everyone's gonna like you and you can't say yes to everybody it's okay to say no if you are completely drained you are not going to be able to help other people and going along with that make time for what you love because life gets crazy and sometimes we forget that stuff that like really just gives us pure joy and happiness you love it so much that it like literally distracts you from all like the problems in life your stress just like goes away and it's a beautiful thing don't have fake friends don't put yourself through that like emotional roller coaster friends are supposed to help you through life and make life a little easier a little more fun that's what friends are supposed to do fake friends are literally doing the opposite for you so much of your thoughts and time effort is put into those friendships because you're constantly dealing with them and it's just not healthy you need to have real friends friends that care about you you need to be accountable when you have friends that care and that hold you accountable to ask you about your day to care enough about your day and how you're doing surround yourself with good company and make sure you spend quality time with people that are gonna help you stay motivated live your life to the fullest. Stay seeing the positive side of life, not people that are just gonna sit around and rant about how terrible life is all day with you. You just all bring each other down. But on the other hand, you could be with people that lift you up and encourage you and motivate you. It's really easy to lose motivation and excitement about life. And don't automatically get overwhelmed with life. There's so much going on that if you think about it all at the same time, it's just like but just take it one step at a time. Be responsible of what you have to get done right now. Just make sure to keep advancing. Keep moving. And try to stay organized. In your mind and like your room, your stuff. You know you hate it when everything just feels like a mess. Or it looks like a mess because it's actually messy. Little things sometimes just like making your bed, washing dishes. All of a sudden make you feel like you're on top of your game. And you got this life thing down. Going back to how God has helped me discipline my mind. God has literally told me in those moments where my mind is just like not stopping the anxious thoughts and worries, I literally need to pray for my mind. I've had my fair share of battling thoughts and battling with my mind, and one of the biggest things I've learned is that my mind does not have power over me. It seems like it does sometimes, because your mind does everything and your mind controls your body, but your mind does not control you if you don't let it. Like, you can have any thought you want to have right now, but your mind does not have power over you. On the other hand, God does, and he isn't a God of fear or anything bad. He doesn't throw all these fears at you. That does not come from God. God has taught me I have to literally like rebuke those thoughts when they come into my mind because you're just like going about your day sometimes and a thought just like comes in you're like I don't even know where that came from because it has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now or what I was actually thinking about. So like a thought that doesn't come even like from you or from God is coming from the enemy and you can choose to literally like say that you're not allowing it to be in your head and declare that I have a mind that is healthy, peaceful, and pure and declare that I am already forgiven for all these things so if something's trying to make me feel guilty over something that I already dealt with in the past it has no power to make me feel guilty, give me peace knowing that 
not everything that came into my mind was my fault. The next point I have on here is that God will never give you any more than what you can handle. Even if sometimes you think, well that's not true because whatever I'm going through right now, I definitely can't handle. Just think about the million other times you've thought, I literally can't get through this, yet here you are and you got through it and you've done it so many times. If God allowed that in your life, he allowed it in your life for a reason and he knows you can handle it. And in the end, it'll all work out for good. I truly believe that even if it's hard to understand why something would happen, why he didn't stop it. We can't try to understand God. Our minds can't even get close to thinking the way he thinks. Having faith that everything will work out for good definitely helps fill me with peace instead of stressing over the fact that bad things will happen. And so far, at least for me, everything that has gone wrong in my life, I definitely see the good in it today. I wouldn't be who I am without that stuff. My family wouldn't be the way we are without going through some really hard times. You can't dwell on the negative thoughts. There's plenty to be negative about. Definitely pray about it because that's what helps the most out of everything here. I would do that first. Stop thinking about it by praying about it and then moving on. But if you're just sitting there, for example, get up, move. Because sometimes I'm sitting at my desk over there and like my mind just goes somewhere else and I'm just worrying about stuff and I need to make my mind focus on something different. I literally made a playlist on Spotify that says emergency, get me out of my head and it's filled with fun songs that don't have any negative message to them. They don't remind me of anything that makes me worried or stressed. They don't have any negative emotions attached to them. It just really helps take my mind off the subject for a while. Not forever, because if it is a real problem, it's something I have to deal with. Obviously, I'm not just gonna like distract myself forever. That's not the idea. Another thing I wrote on here is doing stuff that you love and just being able to put your energy into something else because you're putting so much effort and time into worrying that you could just like channel that into something else that you like to do. Writing down your thoughts, just like get it out of your head because staying in your head is kind of one of the biggest problems. I feel like your mind keeps thinking about it because it's like, I can't forget about this problem because I have to solve this problem. Keeping things bottled up inside is not good. I had terrible, terrible consequences for never expressing the way that I felt, for never sharing anything, and for keeping everything inside. One day, I kind of just exploded. They say that's what happens, but please do healthy things for you that will help you. Do not go to the extreme of depending on substances or things that aren't good for you that you know aren't good for you just to like get temporary kind of like peaceful feeling that's not real peace it's it's fake and when it goes away you might actually feel worse none of it will ever actually help you whatever it's causing you all the stress and all this pain actually needs to be dealt with it needs to be healed and only by doing that will you ever actually get peace over that situation it definitely will disappear with time i know people say time heals things but time doesn't heal things it just makes you forget but you never actually forget because all of a sudden something will happen someday and you'll remember something will make you really upset maybe you won't even know why but it's there in the back of your mind affecting you and it won't just go away with time next thing it says on here is that most of my anxiousness comes from fears that I have. Whether or not we're constantly living in fear, that's up to us. And usually our fear is like the worst case scenario, which probably won't happen. Sometimes it's even like ridiculous situations that we're creating in our head that we're spending so much time dwelling on. It doesn't do us any good. Sitting around worrying about what could possibly go wrong doesn't stop things from going wrong. I heard the camera slightly different angle. The car got full, so it's been a while. Being present means you can enjoy right now. Sometimes the moment right now is actually such a happy and good moment, but just because you're thinking of something in the future that's causing you stress and taking away your peace, you're not enjoying the present when you actually could enjoy yourself right now. And remember that you're not only supposed to have peace when everything's okay, but that you're supposed to feel that peace from God at all times. Basically, that's it. That's all the stuff that I've kind of learned over the years and the stuff that I still use up until today that helps me calm down, so I'm hoping it helps you too. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next week. Bye!